Tomorrow, new restrictions go into effect at Cone Health. RSV forced the hospital system to bring back masks in certain areas. WFMY News 2's Nixon Norman learned more about why leaders felt the move is necessary. That's right, Sydney. Starting tomorrow, visitors will be required to wear masks in the pediatric centers at Moses Cone Hospital in Greensboro and Alamance Regional Medical Center in Burlington. Visitors under 12 cannot visit most labor, delivery, and special care units in these hospitals. Staff say the rules are to keep patients safe as it sees a surge in RSV cases in kids. It comes with a warning from local health leaders as we approach the holidays. Chances are you've probably had RSV and didn't even know it. It is a very common virus that really is sort of a rite of passage. Everyone has had RSV by the time they're two years of age. RSV symptoms usually mirror the common cold, but the effects of RSV can be much worse for babies and older adults. It impacts the young babies most just because they have the smallest airway. So those are the ones that we hear about getting into trouble with this infection. And then as you get older and you develop a little bit of immunity and larger airways, it ends up being more of a cold. That's why it's important to be aware of infecting your much older and younger relatives during the holidays. Guilford County's Public Health Department says there are several ways to slow the spread of RSV. Wash your hands often with soap and water for 20 seconds at the time. Avoid touching your face with unwashed hands. Avoid close contact with others such as kissing, shaking hands and sharing cups and eating utensils with other people. Um, and also clean, frequently touched areas such as doorknobs. And as hard as it might be, experts suggest staying home if you're sick. RSV infection is supposed to reach its peak in the coming weeks. The uptick typically occurs somewhere between October and April, you know, with sort of a peak in, in December. A warning that it will get worse before it gets better. Vaccines for older people and pregnant women as well as babies are available and recommended.